Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, hope everybody's okay today. Thank you for the people that watched last uh, yesterday's stream on here. Always appreciated. And thank you to the continued support I get um, on Twitch and also YouTube. I've recently started the Everton series that I was on about. And the last couple, the first two videos I've posted have had some decent views and stuff. So thank you for that. I do appreciate it. Just to recap where we are at the moment after, after um, yesterday's stream. We're currently seventh in the Premiership. We're not doing as well as I would like. We're 12 points behind Man City. And we're seven points behind the top four positions. So it's not looking too good at the moment. But we've still got half the season to go. And we've got the tran January transfer window to hopefully bring in some players to improve the team we are doing relatively well in the champions league though we got in the top six um so i don't think they've announced the have they announced the champions league oh we've still got some league games i forgot about that so we can still we're still qualifying i think we've got two games to go we could probably rest some players for them two games but yeah, next game now is Norwich, and then we've got Arsenal in the FA Cup, and then Brighton, and then Arsenal again. So we've got a busy January, so I want to try and get these all done by the end of the stream today. Hopefully we should be able to. But yeah, hope, hope you're all having a nice day today. Let me know what you've been up to. Feel free to message me in the chat, say hello. I do appreciate it. Ask me anything about the save, or you want to get to know me, or you're just bored and you want someone to chat to, that's fine as well. So here's the lineup for the game versus Wolves. Chirpin in goal, Libramento is right back, Diamande and Botman in centre defence, Jordi Alva on the left, and Bruno Gamares and Tenali in the middle, Angel on the right. Raheem Diaz in the middle, Pedro Gonzalez on the left, and Osimhen up front. Just to let you know how Osimhen is doing so far this season. Nine goals in 18 games. It's okay. It's pretty, it's pretty decent. Um, I'm just hoping he can push on now and get in, get 20, what, another 10 goals or something for the season. He's got plenty of time to do it. As long as he stays away from injuries and form doesn't dip too badly, we should be all right for that. Just to let you know, on Twitch, my YouTube channel now has 395 subscribers, which is pretty good considering I only started just over a week ago. So I'm really happy with that. I got a bit of help, obviously, but getting them a few subscribers. I did um, what they call a little hack. Um, you use YouTube promotions and they basically get bots to watch you, I think. But I've had a few genuine subscribers and a lot of views, so that's good. And that will pick up now, hopefully, trying to make it. I'm trying to um, get more viewers and subscribers organically. That's why I keep producing content. So um, just to let you know, that I won't be streaming on Twitch until Wednesday now after today. Because I will be, um, my, my girlfriend is not very well. She might have COVID. I'm not feeling 100%, so I might have COVID. And I'm going into hers to look after her for a bit. So um, cause she, she's got to go back to hers to basically do a couple of things. And yeah, anyway, I won't bore you all that. But um, yeah, we're starting the game well, 1 0. So yeah, just to let you know, I shall not be streaming. But I've got a few YouTube videos ready to go. So they will all be sorted. Um, so you'll get some sort of content every day up until Wednesday. I'm going to record some more videos tomorrow. I've already done some today. And I've got, um, I've got tomorrow, Saturdays and Sundays already sorted. And then I'm going to do Mondays and Tuesdays tomorrow. So yeah, so you'll be all right. So And then obviously after that, I'll be back on Twitch. I'll try and do Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. And then the week after that, it'll hopefully be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So uh, it's just sometimes things happen um, that are 
out of your control and there's nothing you can do about it. And like I said, we all have personal lives and I know if I was ill, my partner would look after me. So, yeah. Not that she'll need much looking after. She's very independent. She'll, I'll probably end up doing her more than anything. But just there to keep her company and make sure she's all right. Yeah, so we're winning 1-0. Edit this. Diamande in possession now. Ramirez passing it around very nicely. Let you know I'm doing um doing well in my Everton save. I decided to oh nearly. Um I decided not to use a downloaded tactic like I usually do, like I have done with this Newcastle save. I decided to create my own. So um yeah, so I've decided to create my own tactic and then adjust the roles in that tactic with the players that are, that are starting. So trying to pick the players, trying to put the players in their best roles, at the, their favoured roles. Oh so yeah, it's working out nicely so far, but if you want to know uh, more about that, feel free to check in on YouTube. First two videos are a bit, I'm not trying to put you off, but they're a bit boring because it's, it's basically me just doing it like I do on here. Um, the first video was a, a disaster because I heavily edited it because I was trying to trying to cut out the ums and ahs and likes that I say. And that took forever. And also it just completely ruined the first video. So the first video is a bit off-putting. Great little goal by Tenali there. So I'm hoping the way I do it now, I'm hoping it will be all right. I'm leaving the ums and ahs and likes in there. So if you don't like things like that, I'm not for you. But uh, I'm going to try and edit less, but edit the, the, the silences when there's not much going on. So the Everton saves will be different to the, the Twitch saves, where the Twitch save is you, you'll see everything. Walts and all, as they say. Oh, look at this. We're absolutely destroying walls. We're coming out strong in this game. Got something to prove, I think. But yeah, like I said, it's going to be different. It's going to be a bit more refined on youtube a bit more condensed and a bit a bit edited but still with the, some of the uniqueness um hopefully that i bring way i play it, the game and stuff like that so i'll be i'll be basically in between games unless it's the transfer window i'll be holidaying and then editing out the holiday bit so you'll just see game after game because uh, i think more people prefer just to watch recruitment side of it and then the games themselves they're not really i don't personally find the interaction stuff in, interesting because it just feels I, I mean i'm hoping one day fm can use a bit of ai so the reactions that you're having oh my god look at that for a team goal um the reactions can be a lot more organic at the moment obviously it's the same the same options that you can pick and then the same reactions basically to that so it's a bit boring now after so many years of doing that I just kind of just skip it and I just get the assistant manager to do press conferences and stuff like that. When If they do implement AI and makes it a bit more unique to what you say and what they say back, then I will start doing that. But that, won't be, that probably won't even be on FM25. I think it's too early for AI technology on FM. Anyway, that's a good result. To start the, three, uh, the stream, 4-0. Uh, Dawson own goal. Tenali scored. Angel scored and Diaz scored. So we're seventh still. We're three points behind Spurs in fifth. And then seven points behind, behind no, five points behind Liverpool. So yeah, so we can still potentially get top four. Um, we're still 12 points behind Man City. Man City ain't going to lose four games now the rest of the season. We're very, they'd be very unlucky if they did. But if we get top four, I'm happy with that. And if we do really well in the Champions League as well, let's say we get to like the semi-final or the final, then I'd class that as a good season. Trippier signs a new two-year contract. We've got until the rest of his career. Um, yeah, I just want to say 
I know I've said it a lot already, but I just want to say thank you to everyone that's been supporting me so far in my content creating journey, whether it's my personal friends like Dan or um, my the, the people I talk to on the Games forums as well who pull up with my OCD about getting the thumbnails right. Um, I do appreciate it. And then to the people that have come across this on YouTube and Twitch and enjoyed it and liked it for what it is, I appreciate you as well. But yeah, so thank you. Norwich City next game. Just try and get this ahead as quick as possible. Try and get to January. Got Ethan Mbappe joining Newcastle. I completely forgot we signed him. I got ever so excited when I saw Matt Mbappe joins Newcastle. I thought we somehow signed Killian Mbappe and I completely forgot. Yeah, so um, Ethan Mbappe is the secret weapon into trying to get Killian Mbappe. Imagine that. We're not, we're not, no, actually. Um, my 15 million on that side and 10 million on that side. Now let's try 10 million that side and 10, and 10 million there. Why do they always have to be so bloody awkward? Right, nine, nine. We're not going to negotiate these two. Oh, well. People are after him then. I'm gonna his value's gone down in half. He was 30 odd million earlier. I'm only getting loan interest in him, which is annoying. PSG want him on loan, they can bugger off. You've got the money, you can flip him pay him. and you Monaco. Try and make it a bit enticing and Offer to pay 20 grand of his wage because he's on 120 grand a week. That's what's putting clubs off. Former player Makoko gets European Golden Boy. Well, that's a bit annoying, isn't it? How many goals has he got this season? Only got he's got six goals in nine games. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how they uh they figure these awards out. Diomande gets African Young Player of the Year. That's good. Mbappe. Uh, hopefully our future Newcastle player. This is contract by four years. 850k, we ain't signing him. We're still thinking. Tino, Libramento, Angel and Raheem get into the team of the week. I'm drinking... Monster Mango today. They are not the. I mean, they're very nice, but they uh, they hurt my teeth and my make me a bit ill after a while. I tend to stay away from monsters these days. I have one once a week as a little a little pick me up when I'm feeling a bit tired. But I used to have a, a kind of monster every day. And it's not good. Energy drinks like that aren't good. Um, Binto do a good energy drink though. You can get them in Poundland. Try one if you haven't already. They're pretty good, to be honest. A lot, I think they're a lot better for you than the monsters are. It's about personal preference at the end of the day, isn't it? Right, Norwich now. Coming up in a minute, whenever it's ready. There we go. Right, so no one's interested in Pope because he's injured, which is understandable. Really could do with a goalkeeper, to be honest. How did a Spurrow do? Is a Spurrow ready for the first team? Probably not. He hasn't played many games, to be honest. I would have liked him to have a bit more game experience. Let me see if I can send him out on loan the rest of the season, preferably to a club that's going to play him. My main priority is a goalkeeper. Goalkeeper and a left back. We can, we're right, a right back. 
Keen Olive Rum and Terry will be alright. Got no money basically. We're over our wage budget by about uh about two hundred grand oh I don't know. See if we can increase next season's budget a little. I'll build a new stadium, probably not. Building a new stadium would help when it comes to the overall finances of the club as well. No, we'll, leave, oh, we'll, we'll go for him anyway. So, Ethan Mbappe, not, unfortunately not Kylian Mbappe, joins us. We'll send him out on loan. In the meantime, we'll get him in the, try and get him in the mentoring side of things so we can get some, an older player. There we go, he's in there. I oh, clicked too quickly there, didn't I? Sorry. Yeah, so Mbappe is with Trippier and Diomande. So Trippier will hopefully make these two a better player. Ah, another loan offer that's not worth looking at. Check that. They offer me a decent amount of a loan deal. And I'll accept it, but other than that, I'm not bothering. Okay, uh, that's fine. We'll recall Elliot Anderson. We'll send him out on loan again. Hopefully, he'll go to a club that's more. We go regular starter this time, and we will do that as well. So they have to play him. We can buy, can't buy a coach yet. Can we change the budget about? Oh, we got enough. Will make us a little bit over our wage budget, but okay. We signed Coates, another sporting Lisbon player. Uh, one point we could have waited till the end of the season, but he's thirty-four, so I'd rather just do it now. Personality of the leader, who is probably a good option to have us. Captain or vice captain, I'll have a look at that. It may upset the current captain and vice captain. I'll have a, I'll just have a look in a sec. I just welcome him. Welcome Coates. Thank you for joining us. Former Liverpool player. Very good player as well. We'll also try and get him in the mentoring circle. So is he in there? No, he's not, but we can get him in there at some point. They will let us do it at some point. Right. Tactics, captains. Yeah, he's, he, he he needs we, much as I like Trippier. Trippier's Coates needs to be there. Trippier can be vice captain. And what we'll do is we'll delete these. Pick. Yeah, I didn't. I knew it'd be awkward, but it is what it is. Trippier. So he's all right about it. He's accepted it. He's getting on with it. Hello. Um, thank you, Jurandy. Sorry, I didn't realize you were in there. Thank you. Um, I appreciate your appreciation of my Lucha mask. I'm a big wrestling fan. And um, Rey Mysterio is one of my favorite wrestlers. I've got a few other wrestling masks, but they're not very good. So I'm just going to keep wearing this one for now. I'll probably just get a few more Rey Mysterio masks eventually because they're quite comfy, these are. And they got the open mouth bit as well, so it makes it easier. I can see why Rey Mysterio got this design, to be honest. Makes it a lot easier for him to do things in his matches. But yeah, hope you're okay. Hope you're enjoying the same. I'm good, thank you. How are you? Here's our lineup. Shrepper, uh, Sherpin. Trippier Coates is making his debut alongside his old teammate Diamande. Target, Sergio Busquets, Joe Linton, Lionel Messi, Almiron, Anthony Gordon, and Austin Hen. Um, no, I don't support Newcastle. I, I've always liked Newcastle because they're fans. They've always got passionate fans, similar to teams like Leeds and, and stuff like that. But no, I wouldn't say I'm a fan. I'm, for my sins, I'm a Man United fan, but please don't hold that against me. Um, it's a very sad time to be a Man United fan right now. So I just I picked Newcastle because it would be an easy save, but it wouldn't be they're not like a top top team. So they're a team with a bit of money that I could shape into my own mould. 
Um, and I knew that they would have the money for me to be able to sign certain players like, for instance, Lionel Messi, Ossenham. So, yeah, so that's what, that's what I'm playing. It's just so I'm getting used to streaming because I've only been creating content now for a couple of weeks, for about just over a week. So, yeah. Oh, does he? Oh, my deepest sympathies for your brother being a Man United supporter. Who do you support then? What football team do you support? Messi now? Driving forward? They might score here. Yeah, they bloody will. Finley Welch, never heard of him. You good? In the scouts. Yeah, oh god, he's ball to Ajax as well. Like, he must must hate um Ten Hagman for one reason or another. Who do you support then? Oh PSV, okay. Are you from Holland then? Oh, okay, cool. Are you from Amsterdam or are you from Eindhoven? Oh, okay. Eindhoven's not in Holland, okay. Can you can you explain more about that? I just assumed PSV Eidenhoven was in Eidenhoven. I would, I completely get that wrong. Probably anybody outside of Holland probably gets that wrong. Yeah, Eindhoven's in the in the ne oh, the Netherlands, you don't do you not like Holland then? Oh, okay, sorry. Do you you call it Netherlands? I think everybody outside Netherlands calls it Holland then, don't they? Does that is does that annoy people from Netherlands then? Is that something that they get annoyed about? Oh, okay, fair enough. I apologize, I feel very stupid right now. I just assumed Holland was another name for um. Netherlands, similar to Germany, is also called Deutschland, or, you know, so yeah, so I apologize for that. Please don't leave. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm only joking. Um, yeah, I understand if you want to leave, though. <laughs> right, free kick to us. I don't know what Messi was trying to do there. I think it was some sort of Rabona free kick there. It was ridiculous. Yeah, okay. So that's probably where I remember it from because obviously Holland uh in the seven, in like in the during the time where they had um Rood Hullet and all that lot, I think that's why everybody outside Netherlands probably calls it Holland for that reason. Netherlands, that team that had um is it the nineteen seventy World Cup? That 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 Holland shirt's probably the, the best football shirt ever, to be honest. I don't think there's been a better football shirt than that Holland shirt. Bloody losing here. Players, we, we were doing ever so well last game, and now we're doing terrible. Can't seem to hit consistency, that's our problem. Um, okay, I'll put a few players on. Hopefully it'll make a difference. Oh, the 1988, sorry. Getting it all muddled up today, ain't I? Um, yeah, the 88 kit. I've always had fond memories of Netherlands in football. Euro 96, World Cup 98. I know they're not as prominent as they used to be, but they're still a strong international team. Joe Linton now. Oh, that was a terrible pass. Didn't lose the bloody Norwich. I can't believe it. I blame you, Durandi. It's your fault. <laughs> I'm really joking. Um, 
Oh yeah, you won the Euros. I remember that now. Sorry, mate. My uh, my memory's not the best. Yeah. What football team are you managing at the moment? I'm football manager. I haven't done a Dutch league save in ages. I did the last one. I did was with Ajax, and and I got bored that quite quickly. But it was enjoyable for a bit because I was signing all these unheard of. It's a late equaliser. That will do us. Ah, uh, well, maybe the reason why Hol um, Netherlands won the 88 uh, Euros was because of PSV won the travel. That's probably what it was. Was there many PSV players in that Holland team at the time? Sorry, and anybody that watches this on YouTube afterwards, like I said, I apologise. I forgot to put the Twitch chat on screen so you can see what's going on between me and this gentleman here called Durandi, so I can only apologise that you can only see, you can only hear me, see me talking. Um, yeah, I'm just having a chat with one of me, one of the, the people following me here on Twitch, so, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. What team are you managing on Football Manager then, Durandi? I might do a PSV save at some point. I think, I think they're, We've got a few Mexican players as well, and obviously I'm wearing the Rey Mysterio mask. I think it, I think maybe I could just be PSV manager and sign a few Mexican, a few more Mexican players, and try and make a team with half Mexicans, half um, Dutch players. So Jordi Alba's off. So we could do with some more. We need to make some money somehow. Oh, okay, fair enough. Are you subscribed to me on YouTube? Oh, okay. Oh, cheers, mate. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, always nice to hear somebody subscribing to me. So, uh, yeah, it's nice. And like I said, I only started a few, like, uh, over a week ago. So I appreciate that. Spread the word, you Andy. I want the whole of, I want the whole of um, Netherlands to follow me. That's your mission, to get the whole of Netherlands to, to watch me on here on YouTube. If I get more supporters from Netherlands, I'll do a joint save as Netherlands and PSV. And I won't stop until I win the Champions League with PSV and the World Cup with Netherlands. There you go. You're in control of making that happen, my friend. Yeah, 18 million. I'm not greedy. 18 million is fine. That's fine. Yeah, I'm all right with 18 million. I'll be bigger than uh, I'll be bigger than Mr. Beast in no time, my friend. Even if I had a million, I'd probably be one of the biggest, if not the biggest, FM con uh, content creators. It'd be quite hilarious considering I only just started. Yeah, probably. Um, I think me personally, the, the ones I watch are Zealand, Dr. Benji when he's when he's actually streaming. I know he's got his issues and that's why he's not streaming as much. Um, Lelujo, um Work the Space, they're the ones I usually watch. Plates. Any other YouTubers that you watch? Yeah. But Zealand's good though. I like Zealand, but the only the only problem with Zealand, he micromanages too much for my liking. Whenever I've watched the network say when them when them four are just the first four I know um, the first four that I talked about when they did that network save stream, it frustrated me what they, how long they took because of Zealand just doing every little nitpicky thing. But that's just how he plays Football Manager, and we're all different. I I don't really deal with all that stuff. I get the staff to do all the little fiddly things, and I try and get through the uh, the inboxes as quickly as possible, but because I'm streaming now, I have to try and think about what the uh, the viewers like to watch. So, yeah, if you've got any, if you have any suggestions in the future or whatever that you think would help the experience for people like you, just let me know, because I'm always trying to improve things when I can. Right, so here's our lineup for Arsenal. Sherpin in goal, Trippier right back, Coates in the middle, defence with Botman, Target on the left, Bruno Gomez in the middle with Tenali, 
Angel on the right, Brahim Diaz in the middle, Pedro Gonzalez on the left, and Austin Hearn up front. Have you thought about streaming, Jurandi? Have you thought about doing stuff like that? If you don't already, if you do stream, let me know and I'll give you a follow on Twitch and YouTube. It's only fair. Oh, that's not the best start, is it? Five minutes in, we're already losing. Used to stream. Oh, okay then. Let me just. Um, right. Just giving you a follow on here, mate, just in case you start streaming again. Yeah, I'll keep an eye out in case you do make a comeback. Good to watch you. You just cut, do you just do football manager content, or you used to did you used to stream football manager stuff, or you play other games? Come on, we should be. Uh... FA Cup is one of the things that we might be able to win, but not, not if we carry on like this. Oh, GeoGuessr, yeah, 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 yeah. So, do you know, there's a guy called Tom, and he, oh, for God's sake, 2-0 down. There's a guy called Tom who's from a place called, uh, near, well, he lives in a place in Birmingham in the UK, which is where I, which is where, near where I live, basically. And uh, I watch him, and I can't remember his name, but it's something like Geo, it's something to do with GeoGuessr, because he plays GeoGuessr a lot, but he also does straight line walking challenges and stuff like that so i watch them i don't watch him playing geoguessr i played it a few times it's quite fun but i just it doesn't draw my interest enough for me to play it that much but um yeah his name's tom proper, proper he's a nice lad and uh i like the walking challenges he does and things like that yes that's it that's what we like to see we got one back that's it yeah geo wizard that's the one he's a good bloke have you seen these challenges, these walking challenges? Right, 2-1 down. Let's see if we can get something back from this. Try and make a comeback here. Oh, and that was a beautiful bit of football there. They deserved a goal up. That was amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you see his most recent... Uh, did you see Gio was his most recent one? One I like the most is the ones he does around Birmingham and stuff like that, because that's where, basically, where I, I know very well, so it's nice to see familiar sights. Um, oh, oh, but we're going to score then. Yeah, come on, Bruno. Don't lose that ball career. Come on, Angel. Oh, yes, come on. 2-2, two, two, let's go. Yeah. Nah, that's fair enough, mate. You know what I mean? You just, if you haven't got time, you ain't got, you're busy, you're busy, or you just maybe lack of interest. I go, there's, there's certain YouTubers I'll watch and then I'll just go off and then I'll watch them again at some point. I watch, I watch way too much stuff on YouTube though, but I don't have much time to do it. Since I started streaming last week, I barely had time to watch TV because my routine is basically record stuff for a bit. Oh, for God's sake, we've done well to get that back then. Um, record stuff and then I stream from two to four and then my girlfriend comes back from work about six o'clock and then we just pretend to watch stuff that we both like together. Uh I mean I'm lucky that she can't she, she I got her into wrestling so at least there's that. She likes watching the wrestling. She doesn't like Ray Mysterio's son. She hates she hates Dominic Mysterio. I think it's I think it's because uh she watches it in the literal sense so she'll boo the bad guys and cheer the good guys. Ooh Arsenal nearly killed the game off there. Uh, what's like a moment in football history that almost happened, but you wish it did? Probably Man United. Um, I know this sounds really bad because Man United's won so many Premier Leagues, but basically the year that Blackburn Rovers won the Premiership, 3-3, free free, just in a couple of minutes to go, getting this to extra time. Yeah, when Blackburn's basically won the Premiership on the last day of the season, I kind of really wish that 
Man United nearly scored and they would have won the Premier League. And I think they just, I think the player, I think it was Andy Cole, missed by an inch. It was that. And then there was also the, the famous Aguero moment. I wish that never happened as well. They gave Man City their first league title and then look what happened. I think, yeah, stuff like that. What about you? What's the moment in football history that you wish, um, wish happened in football? We got a, a replay the FA Cup game against Arsenal. At least we managed to get back in the game after losing 2 0. So I'll take confidence from that. Harvey Barnes, right. They're just giving me such poor offers for Harvey Barnes. Right. FA Cup fourth round. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're probably good moments, yeah. I mean, like I said, as a PSV fan and a obviously a fan of the Netherlands national team, you probably had your moments where what could have been. Um, but at least you won the Euros and stuff like that. Not many nations that can say that, so... Do you think, do you think uh, Netherlands will win a Euros or... A, World Cup in your lifetime? You think, it, it, again, I mean, like, I think they've got a chance. I personally don't remember your 2004 2005 run PSV because I wasn't a massive fan of Dutch football back then. But um, I remember Alf you had a striker called Alfonso Alves, Brazilian, who then went to Middlesbrough and did absolutely rubbish. I, I remember him. Oh, in the Champions League? Yeah, no, I don't remember that either. Uh, do you have any good players in that team? Any any recognisable players that I'd know? 2004, 2005 team? In fact, while I'm here, I will have a look. Google will be my friend. PSV team of 2004, 2005. Right. So, you had Jan, I mean, you already know this, I don't know why I'm telling you this, but Jan Venegor of Hesseling, the most expensive um, name to put on a shirt ever. That would cost you a fortune in England to have that on the back of your shirt. So you had Wilfred Boomer, Van Vommel, Parkson Young, Philip Koku, Marcus Beasley, these are players I recognise, Johan Vogel, um, Jefferson Parler and Eric Edo. That's it. Oh, uh, Ibrahim Alafe. I remember them. A standout player, though, for a good team, though, overall. But you did just, for some reason, I was expecting some superstars. I mean, you had the original Ronaldo in your team at one point, so. Oh, sorry. 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 I was looking online instead of doing that. <laughs> Sorry, I apologise to Randy. You can still tell me if you want. I don't mind. We'll just pretend it never happened. <laughs> oh, I'd love to know who was in that PSV team in 2014. If only there was someone who could tell me again. <laughs> so sorry, Randy. Just ruined it for you, haven't I? Yeah, tell me all about it. Tell me what happened then. Tell me about that historic season. That could be a little project for you, actually. You could do a video on the history of PSV and break down season by season or something. And you could focus on certain seasons, like the 2004-2005 season. There's a, um, there's a YouTuber I watch who does football documentary stuff. And he does like videos, 20-minute or half-an-hour videos and longer than that. He's called HIT7s or something like that. He's, he's really good. I find his 
video is really interesting and uh, entertaining as well. They're not just about facts and stuff like that. He, he, he adds a bit of humour to it. But yeah, he's a really good one. HIT7s, I think his name is. I could be wrong, but yeah. Right, here's our team for the replay against Arsenal. Turpin in goal, Libramento on the right, Pio Mande in the middle with Botman, Burn on the left, Mbappe debuts in, the, in that position there with Joe Linton, Angel Career on the right, Pedro Gonzalez in the middle, Gordon on the left, and Isaac up front. Oh, okay. He did well then, because that team, that Arsenal team, was uh, an incredible team in 2004-2005 season. I think Arsenal would love a team like that now. I don't get me wrong, their current team pretty good, but I think they're going to bottle their Premiership chances again by the looks of it. Oh, they must have heard me slagging them off Arsenal because they've just scored against me. All right, Sherpin with the goal kick out to burn. Let's see what we can do with this. Try and encourage the players. Mbappe passing it nicely. Doesn't look too nervous at the moment. Lovely little turn by Joe Linton. He drives it forward, hits the post, I think. He's at now. Ah, uh, intercepted by Arsenal. Oh, we got it back. Come on. Oh, come on. We could have done better than that. We shouldn't have skied it there. All right, he's up now. Come on, somebody have a shot. Somebody take a shot. Libramento. Oh, good save by Arsenal there. Uh, at this point, they're fighting for their lives here. We're doing very well. We're all over them. All right, Pedro. He's at, he's at shoots. It's blocked. Another corner. What can we do with this? Bloody hell, the AC Milan team was, uh, from that season was amazing, wasn't it? Was that, the, um, was that the Champions League final with AC Milan versus Liverpool, that famous victory that Liverpool had when they beat them after they were losing or something? God, it only felt like yesterday. I watched that live because I feel old now. The AC Milan played Liverpool again in the, in the Champions League final a few seasons later, maybe. I might be getting mixed up there. Arsenal with possession now. We should have done something better with that. Great tackle. Botman. All right, Pedro on driving it forward. What can he do with this? Gets tackled though. Ugh. Come on, lads. Good tackle. Come on. Diomande showing us how it's done. We're winning 3 0 against AC Milan and they didn't go through. Oh, you did go through. Oh, I'm flipping out. Arsenal scored again. Oh. Oh, that's good. Thank God for that. Still got a chance here. Still got a chance. We've just got to encourage the players. Arsenal's kind. There we go. Come on, Isa. Oh. Needing an own goal there. Oh, okay. Fair enough. What could have been, eh? But then, if the PS3 went through... Would it have been the same final that we had? I mean, as a neutral, obviously it's good for you as a PSV fan, but as a neutral, I don't think you're going to find many better Champions League finals than that game for drama when Liverpool were losing and then they come back and won. Like, as, a, as an Englishman, even though I hate Liverpool, but as an Englishman, I was very proud of the fact that Liverpool managed to beat AC Milan. At the time, this was a very good AC Milan team. We had some really good players. Oh, on the way goals. Oh, fair enough. All right, come on. Demand more. All right, Diamande now to Botman. Botman in the middle to Mbappe. Mbappe, that was terrible passing by Mbappe. We really need to do better than this second half. We're going to concede again at this rate. Oh, for God's sake. Game over now. Berate the players, so this is not on. Right, let's get a goal. Get a goal. Let's take the goalkeeper just grabbing it from a corner. What is the point? Yeah, 
Yeah, you never know. It'd be one of them if, like, you know, what if moments, wouldn't it? Who's to say that I, that PSV wouldn't have surprised everybody and beaten Liverpool? We just wouldn't know. One of them. Yeah, PSV's had some really good players over the years. Like I said, the original Ronaldo. Name some of the world class players that have played for PSV over the years. I can't remember the top of my head, but you'll know. Right, can we get a goal? Can we? Come on, let's get a goal. Let's keep us in this game. Great little cross. Can we do something with it though? No, we bloody can't. Yeah, it's one of them, isn't it? But at least PSV went down, at least them players went down as legends for PSV. Oh, come on. Oh, is it you should have better than that? All right, Gordon's going off. Uh, recoup can come on. The other player's not playing well. Ah, there, you're playing, you're off, you're not. Right, let's do tactical changes here. Him in here. No. We can go Linton. No. Okay. Hopefully that'll make a difference. Appears. Yeah, I said Park a G Sung um, because when I was looking at the Wikipedia page, I said him. Um, he was a good player for Man United. Oh, he's a bloody post there. Yeah, because you've had. Yes. Oh, I thought that was in there. Um, yeah, because you have the original Ronaldo. You've had. Um, I, I, can't, I can't think. I don't know why I can't think of the players at the moment. What other players have you had? Really good players at PSV. You've had some world-class players at some point, and I can't remember who. Van Nistroy. Yeah, Ruud Van Nistroy was one of them. Uh, he went to Man United, obviously. Oh, um, Memphis Depay, another one that went to Man United. Ruud Hullet, Yapstan, another one that went to Man United. Yapstan. He was there until he got too big for his boots, and then Fergie kicked him out. Come on, let's get, an, let's get a goal and give us a chance here. Come on. Arsenal get another one, that's it, it's game over. Saka just running around like we're nothing. That's it, get out. Yeah, Luke De Jong. But they had two De Jongs. They had, they had the De Jong brothers at one point. Maybe I'm getting confused with the De Balls. I know the De Balls were at Ajax anyway. I was just about to say with the De Balls at PSV, but they were at Ajax. I would go on Google actually and just type in uh, type in PSV Legends, but I think you might get annoyed with me if I do that. <laughs> I'll let you tell me. Oh, and then we'll do it by position. Oh, yes, that's it. There we go. Right. We're going to do another comeback here. Come on, Durandi, keep your fingers crossed for me. If I don't win this, uh, Durandi, it's your fault. Blaming you. Damn it. Your fault, Durandi. <laughs> Joking, by the way. I'm assuming you get the British sense of humour. We're very, we're very sarcastic. Oh, well, we're out the FA Cup. Means we've got, I think realistically, the only competition we can potentially win now is maybe the Champions League. Otherwise, it's going to be a bit of a rubbish season, really. Yeah, De Jong's more known to be um, a Ajax player, isn't he? Could lose Dan Byrne on a free year. A good player for uh, St Newcastle. Got a few more people in the chat room. Hello to any new people. Feel free to 
join in with the chat with me and Durandi. Are you a PSV fan? Are you from Holland? Um, sorry, Netherlands. I apologise, Durandi. Feel free to contribute. Let me know where you're from. Nice to know, it, it's always nice to know where um, people that follow me on my content journey are from. Let me know if you're enjoying my save and stuff, if you want me to do anything differently, if there's, um, if you want me to set up my camera in a different way so you can see me differently, I don't know, just do it really. Oh, okay, fair enough. But that was probably quite emotional for their dad. If I get any money in the transfer uh, window, Durandi, I might ask you for a device to sign. I might, I might go and knock on PSV's door or have a look at the Holland national team, see if there's any players I can sign from there that would make a difference to my Newcastle team. Uh, you'll have to let me know. I, I might get some money at the end of January. I did last time. So we'll just have to wait and see. It was literally quite late into the transfer window in January. Got quite a lot of games yet, so it could be a while yet. I think last time, last season, it was twenty eighth of January or something when I finally got some money. Just randomly give me money. So yeah, I need a goalkeeper. Are there any good Dutch goalkeepers at the moment? Nali signs a new contract. Have a look at Netherlands. Women's nation. I see the. Which goalkeepers are. Well, we won't be able to sign in, but we'll add them to the shortlist. We might be able to sign in if we get some money, though. Uh, Joel Drommel, any good? Who's he play for? PSV, there you go. I'll, add, I'll scout him, see if he's any good. I'll change him to Durandi just for you, mate. Uh, we'll give him a scout just in case. Right, and then we'll go on Drommel, we'll go here, we'll go PSV, have a look. Got Walter Benitez, he might be worth taking a look at. PSV don't look like they're going to sell him though, but you never know. Yeah, maybe Bajal, did I say that right? Or Boy, is it Boy? Boy Jow, Boy, Boy Jow? I am not very good at pronouncing people's names. I'm just letting you know. I've probably said your name wrong every time, Randy. I'll just give these a bit of a scout. Scout them all. Any good players, I will shortlist them. Yeah, PSV this season's got a good te a good squad, to be honest. It definitely would be an interesting save to do that in Holland uh, with Holland as well. You've probably got a good chance of winning the Dutch league every season. Ajax are not very well, very good. Your other competition is Freynord, I suppose. Freynord, Freynord, no, pronounce it. Ilo. Oh, okay, fair enough. Thank you. Um, but at least say your name right, Jurandi. Have I said that right? I hope so. Right. So this is team against Arsenal. We've got. Chirping in goal, Trippier was right back, Coates in the middle that we Botman, Target on left back, Nanali and Joe Linton in the middle, Messi on the right, Brahim Diaz in the middle, Pedro Gonzalez on the left, and Osim Hen up front. Bloody Arsenal again, I'm sick of playing Arsenal. Well, we had a game against Brighton before we played Arsenal again, but I could be wrong. This is the game I want to concentrate on us winning, really, is this one. We win this. Uh, saying that, that Notts Forest got two games ahead of us. Tottenham's got one. Mm -hmm. That was a terrible foul. He's going to get red carded for that, you f***ing plonker. Oh, for God's sake. 
Um, Osamen's going to have to come off then, and then we'll put on Libramento. Libramento can go here. Do it. There you go. That's not the best start to the game, is it? See what we can do though. So just go very defensive at this point. If we get, we'll be looking to get a draw out of this. Just kills the game as soon as you get a player sent off in the first part because now you're just playing defense, aren't you? Never know, I might be able to sneak a goal from a set piece or something and then just defend for my life. Ah, oh, there we go. Didn't he used to play for? PSV, this player here. Am I getting it wrong? Oh, Freynord. Freynord. I apologise to Randy. Thank you to the people currently watching me on Twitch. I do appreciate it. I appreciate your support. Feel free to um, subscribe or follow me in general on YouTube as well. Um, I'm doing a series with Everton where they get taken over by a tycoon in the first season and then but they get relegated so i take over them in the second season and i've basically got rid of the dual the squad and brought in my own players and um picked my own tactic for a change as well design my own tactic and stuff so usually i just use a downloaded tactic or you know what they call a plug-in tactic but i just thought i Try my own tactics working quite well, and then I, I adjust the tactic with the players that are playing. So I change. I always try and max, uh, make them make sure they're playing in their in the roles that they they want to play in. Let me know in the Twitch in the Twitch chat who you're currently managing on FM as well, if you want. Let me know what you're doing in your save. We are not doing well in this game, are we? That was just... I mean, what the hell was that target? Oh, do you know what? <sighs> Any advice to Randy? <laughs> eighth now. We're eighth. We'll be lucky to get any European football next season at this rate. We just end the game so we can start another, start another one. We can't seem to get any consistency. We, we win one, and then we lose two or three. It's just ridiculous. We just, players just don't seem up for it this season. It's going to make it really hard for us to sign good players next season if we can't even get champion people. That was a great ball by whoever that was to Saka. No penalty, thank God. At least there's that. Free kick just outside the box, so they've still probably scored from this. No, luckily they don't. Right, can we just end this game now, please, Arsenal? You know, you've already won, you've already destroyed us. Oh, why do I have to have another highlight? What is the point? Even if we score, it really doesn't matter, does it, at this point? Size, probably. Uh, at least we've got a consolation goal. Comebacks on, everybody. I'm going to win this 4 3 now with the last three minutes. Oh, yeah. Wow. Right. Can we end the season now, please? Be nice. We call him. Uh, he's him because he's not very good.
dynamics, team meeting, courage. We please, you know, start going on a run now. Probably too late for us to do anything, but at least have some pride in what we're doing. Right, 36 points. We need six points. Liverpool's got two games ahead of us. So that could be a 12 point gap at that, at that point. We need to win literally every game for the rest of the season, which ain't going to happen. We even have a slight chance of Champions League football. Oh, yeah, Robin. I forgot Robin Koeman. Yeah, oh, Romario. He was such a good player back in the day. Clivert. Yeah, I forgot you had Clivert. I always feel like, is Clivert not at Ajax? Oh, I don't know. Which Clivert? Patrick Clivert or Justin Clivert? Um, yeah, some good players there. G Gapo recently, Lozano's still there, he's doing well. Dumfries and Malin, yeah, yeah, Patrick. Oh, so Patrick Cliver was at PSV. I don't know why I thought he was at Ajax. I think everybody just assumes any, any good Dutch player was. Oh, he was both. Oh, okay, was he at Ajax first and then later on at PSV or PSV first and then Ajax? Hey, I'm learning all this new stuff about Dutch football today. Expanding my knowledge of Dutch football. I used to think I was quite knowledgeable on world football. It's always, it's always good to have somebody from Holland, um, from Netherlands, sorry, teach you about football that from there because they obviously have their own perspective on it. Yeah, so he, he went to PFC later on in his career, did he? I'm going to actually have a look at his career because I'm, I'm just curious. I know, he went, I know he went from Ajax to AC Milan and then actually, there we go. Then he went to Barcelona. So he must have gone to PSV later on in his career. Oh, there we go. So yeah, so he went from went Ajax, AC Milan, Barcelona, Newcastle, remember it in Newcastle actually, Valencia, and then PSV. And then he played 16 games for PSV and scored three goals. Uh, what's he doing in his manager career at the moment? He's currently manager of Adana Dem Demospor in uh, Turkey. So uh, fair play to him. His son, Justin Clivert, currently at Bournemouth, doing pretty good at the moment, I think. Not as good as his dad, I don't think, but still a good player. Oh, Just the bit down. There we go. Right. Henrik set to move to Newcastle United. Well, that's cool. Rafter in though. He's pretty good. Harvey Barnes. They're just getting worse and worse, these loans deals. I'm going to put an end to this and I'm going to. Loan status not available for loan. Unavailable for loan. Do you want to sign this man? You're gonna to have to make an offer. It'll have to be a decent offer. Look, its value is down even more now. We've gone from thirty million to three point nine million. I'm not—I'm not offering any wages, and we're only gonna get in, we're only gonna get like five. I wish I accepted that other loan offer now from Getafe. Hindsight, hindsight's a wonderful thing, though. Um, okay. Uh, Yeah, Monday's not happy because we've changed his squad status, so we'll just get There we go, we finally got an offer for him. Not a very good offer considering how much we got off of that loan deal, but gets him gone, gets him off the wage. Done 120 grand a week, so that will give us a couple of extra million alone. Um, nah, no, then we'll work. Just going through the PSV team here, scout reports. Is anybody amazing? I'll sign him, but like him, he's already on my shortlist. Jonathan, 
Jonathan Bakaya Bakayoku. You think he's is he any good? Jonathan Bakayoku has he been good this season, Jurandi? Obviously, Irvin Lazanu has been there for a while. Good player. Noah Long, another good player. Used to play for Noah Long used to play for Ajax, didn't he? And then he went to Belgium. Good Bruges, yeah. Another player that's played for both Ajax and PSV. You wouldn't get. I don't think you would get that in in some countries. In Scotland, for example, you very rarely get players that, are, that play for Celtic that then go on to play for Rangers. Even like later on in the career, just doesn't happen. I'll add him to the shortlist as well. Right, here's our lineup against Fulham in the Premier League. Chirpin in goal again. Libramento on the right. Coates in the middle of defence with Diamande. Target on the left. Sergio Busquets and Bruno Gomez in the middle. Angel Career on the right. Almiron in the middle. Gordon on the left. And Osimhen up front. I believe it's been an hour into the stream already. I'm quick. Yeah, sadly, I won't be able to do any more streaming for a few days. I don't usually stream on the weekend anyway, um, but I'm going to be at my girlfriend's house. Her internet connection's rubbish, so I won't be able to stream. Um, I'm going to help her put the Christmas stuff away and try and look after her if she needs to, because she's got potentially COVID, so I just want to keep an eye on her. Start recording again. Right, I'll sort it out afterwards in post production, as they call it. Anyway, I've had no idea what's gone on in this game because I haven't been paying attention, but we're 2 0 up. Awesome men with both goals. Yeah, some technical issues. I've been cursed when it comes to streaming. A couple of days ago, I streamed and my microphone cable broke. And the only way I could fix it was restart the computer, basically, during the stream. I had to stop the stream, which was really annoying. Um, right, so we're 2-0 up. Don't want to get too excited, because we might not, we might still not win this game. We're only 2-0 up. Right, any plans for the weekend then, Durandi? You up to much? Almer on with the corner now. Floats it in. Ah, uh, fair enough. Do you do much on your time off? What do you do for work? Are you working at the moment? Are you, uh, you do much after work or? Oh, what a goal by Almiron. Look at that. Blasted it in. Yeah, no worries, Durandi. Take your time. There's no rush, mate. Just just let me know when you're back if you want, and I'll carry on chatting to you. But if you, do, if you don't come back, thank you for um, chatting to me and watching and subscribing to me. I always appreciate it, buddy. All right, dear Monday to Angel Correa. Okay, what happened there? Right, Coates now. Coates, I suppose. Coates, maybe. Chirpin. The burn. Um. Oh, yes, Diaz. Making a few substitutions now, resting players that are tired. He 
this is um, a much needed win. Hopefully it'll turn things around for us, but I say this every time we get a win and then we end up losing the next two games. So I just want to get a couple of wins in a row. That would be nice. All right, Cotes. Diamande, we're just doing a bit of time wasting by the looks of it, but we can't drive forward here. Mancini now, Cotes, all the central defenders working together to set up Anthony Gordon for the fifth goal. 5 0, we'll take 5 0. Got time for one more. Out to Coots. Mancini. Mancini figures out he's just trying to waste a bit of time, I think. Cotes. Also trying to waste a bit of time. Back to Agoldi. Trying to we're just trying to run the clock down now. Dan Burn. Nice little pass to Gordon. Oh, that was a beautiful goal. Absolutely beautiful goal. He's at there. We're showing the Premiership that we're not, we're, we're still a team to be feared. Right, let's have a look at resting some players because I think some of them are knackered. Uh, not really. Livermento, maybe. See him for a week. Rest are all right for now, I think. See what they're like after this game. Tough game now against Man United away. Typical. I'm predicting we'll have a player sent off in the first half and it will just completely ruin any chances we've got to win the game. Or Man United will just like absolutely thrash us. Uh, I'll be amazed if we get anything out of that game. Oh. Sorry about that. Good. Got me a webcam on top of me laptop on my actual lap. Uh, I haven't got the money yet to get a nice, decent computer desk. I need to be. I need to get all the people of Netherlands to subscribe to me, or I can get a nice desk. When Durandi finishes with his mission to um, get the whole of the Netherlands to subscribe me and follow me on Twitch. Then I can, uh, I'll get a new desk and I'll call it the Netherlands desk as well. There we go. Or the Dutch desk. I'll call it the Dutch desk, Durandi. How about that? Dedicate it to you, my friend. Again, a very good player in Pino for 69 million. I uh, recently managed Villa. Actually, I think Villa Real was my first save on Football Manager, or one of my first savers on Manager 2024. And I had a really good save with them. I basically signed all these hidden South American, uh, these hidden gems from South America, like um, Valentin Barco when he wasn't. Uh, and then there was Anderson Durate and David Martinez, and they just all really good. Uh, Lu Lu Luciano Rodriguez and players like that. I might, I might try and sign some of them for PSV, actually. I might try and just 
get a few South Americans and a few Mexicans at PSV, Randy. You never know. Might do it as an offline save. I don't think I'll do it as an online save. I pretty much play football and manage 24-7. So, um, I'm not sleeping and I'm not doing something else. I'm playing football manager. Right then, our lineup versus Manchester United. Chirping in goal. Diamande is right back. Okay, that's a new one. We got literally no right backs at the moment. Team is very limited. Obviously, Liberamento's taking a bit of time off, so I suppose we'll have to make do. Coates in mid uh, in defence with Botman, Target on the left. Sinali in the middle with Bruno Ramirez, Messi on the right, Raheem Diaz in the middle, Pedro Gonzalez on the left, and Austin Hen up front. We need a miracle in this game, everybody. Keep your fingers crossed for us. Right, first highlight is us. Tenali with the corner. Definitely missing Kieran Trippier at the moment. To do with him. Great little goal by Botman, though. Yeah, never know. I'm going to just not say anything, though. Whenever I say... We're doing well in this game. It always backfires on me. We will see. Man City are no longer top. Arsenal's top of the Premiership at the moment. Man City's got a game in hand though. Probably because Man City aren't playing on this particular day. They're probably playing the day after. Yeah, so... Uh, I'm gonna get a desk, Durandi. I'm gonna call it the Dutch desk, and I'll get um, I'll get the uh, the Dutch national team badge. I'll get like a little little badge thing, and I'll stick it onto the desk, and I'll christen it the Dutch desk for you, mate. Two 0 get in. If both defenders scoring now. Messi with the assist for the second. Okay, okay, I can get a little bit more confident, but like I said. Until it's 90 minutes, I'm not going to say much else. This is what happens when I start getting too excited. Oh, okay. Jurgen's doing well on this team. He's um doing better than Pope was doing. Right, Messi with the free kick. Oh. I've got to call her Messi. Loops it in. Oh, nah, nah. Saves it. All right, we've got a few knackered players now, so we're just going to have to try and take as many off as possible. Um, I can do that. Huh? Yeah. Let's see what we can do. Okay, they've got a corner. Come on. No, we can't give them... If they score, it's it's going to be game on as far as they're concerned. Oh, here we go. Here we bloody go. Right. Very defensive. Time-wasting. Frequently. Let's see if that'll do anything. Right. Demanding more. That might... That might go either way there. Come on. I mean, even a... Really draw against Man United, I won't I won't complain about but like I said it'd be nice to get two wins in a row for a change. Just have that please. Well, that's it, good defending by Coates. Probably a good idea putting him as right back. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. Right. Couple of minutes left. Can we see this game out? Yes we can. Well done, lads. 
excellent little victory there. Right, let's check the Premier League now. We're six now. We've gone from like eight to six, so I'm happy with that. We're back to round about where we were a couple of, couple of games before. Um, we're still six points behind Spurs, and they've got a game in hand, so I'm going to class that as nine points to get fifth place. And then we've got Liverpool, who are six points ahead of us, but they've got two games. So that's like 12 points. We've got to get more than Liverpool. I can't see Liverpool losing four games the rest of the season, but we'll see. Thank you to anyone that's joined the stream on Twitch recently on this. Hope you're having fun. Hope you're enjoying it. Did I just miss something? Hold on. Oh, is that it? They've literally just upped our transfer budget by 3 million. That is very disappointing compared to what it was last season. It's because we're 13 million in the red, aren't we? We're projected to be 190 million up. Surely they can give me a bigger budget. I mean, they're, they're planning to give me bigger budgets next season. So I don't think we're going to get any extra money in January by the looks of it, which is a bit annoying. I was really kind of counting on that to get a good goalkeeper. turpin has been playing well, though, but he's not, not good enough for us to progress. Again, though, he's like two and a half stars, which is the same as Pope. The only difference is he's 24, so he's younger than Pope. You never know, he might get slightly better, I don't know. He'll have to do for now, him and Pope will have to do for now. Right, Angel's not happy, we'll just compromise. Happy target's got the clue for a few days, four or five days. Man clue is really bad anyway, so everybody should have sympathy for man clue. Worse thing anybody could get. Way worse than giving birth, I'll tell you now. <laughs> um, if my partner was here right now, she'd probably punch me. She's never, she's not even had kids, but as a woman, she's she's been there when her sisters gave birth, so she knows what real birth. <laughs> knows what real pain's about giving birth. Oh, wish that that's got to be probably the most painful thing any woman has to has to go through. To football manager content, right? Oh, uh, do we want to sell him? No, we don't. We, if we sell him, we've got to then bring in a replacement. If they really want him, they're gonna have to give me the big money. We'll go for a cheeky six million. No, keep negotiating this to 60 million, see what happens. I know they might give in and give us 60 million. That's their final offer. It's not because you're not going to find a striker that much ability and potential. So you're not going anywhere. He's like, sorry, you're staying here, mate. I'll offer you a new contract, see if that helps. It won't. Okay, fine. Hopefully they'll come in with a bigger, uh, bigger offer. We can start ease that for 100 million and get to reinvest that money in other positions. Compromise. So 70, we'll go 70 million. There we go. They ain't going to come back with 70 million anyway. Right, okay. We're playing Slavia Prague next. Chirping in goal. Trippier back in the team. Thank God for that. Uh, as right back, Coates, uh, Cotes and Diamande in the centre of defence. Otman in as left back for a change. And Ali in the middle with Bruno Gamares. Angel Correa on the right. Pedro Gonzalez in the middle. Gordon on the left. And Osim Hen up front. We kick off. We score straight away. We lose the ball straight away. That's not good. Right, good little bit of skill there by Pedro Gazzaras, pushed forward by Korea. Korea now, it's Trippier, Trippier with the pass in the box, which gets defended nicely by Slavia Prague. Cotes now, Korea, Cotes. 
The growth process pushes forward. Oh, I thought he was going to keep going there. Jim Lazar, there's. He's been a good little signing for us. Uh, five assists, six goals in 25 games so far. He's only 20 years old, I think. So. Got some good young players. We've got Diamande, he's 21. Um, Botman's only like 22. Now he's only four. Career. Oh, he's 20. Not old, old, but oldish. So this is old oh, 26. I thought he was 20. I got that wrong. Sorry, I apologize. Anthony Gordon is 23. And RCM's 24, 25. Rubermento's 22, 23. We've still we've got players that are um, we can keep here and just try and progress as a team together, and then just like add when we get a bit weak in certain areas. We definitely need to improve the um wing the the, the fullback position. That's definitely it. that that and the goal goalkeeper's main priority. So in the summer we're going to go for a goalkeeper, and if we've got money, we'll go for a. We've got to go for a left back and a right back. We might have to go into the low market for the season just to strengthen us in them positions for now. We have a goal by Pedro. All right, Botman now. Uh, they have the ball. Oh, they hit the bar. I used to be good as a kid playing crossbar. You know the crossbar thing? We used to, I used to be really good at that. I had a toe poke foot though, so I had a bit of an advantage over most people. Trippier now with a free kick. Gets saved by the goalie. Hello to the new people that's just joined the Twitch, stra uh, Twitch stream. I can't get my words out today, sorry. Uh, thank you for coming along and joining. Feel free to message in the chat room if you want to say hello or ask me a question about the save or football. Maybe you're from a different country and you want to talk about your the football team you support from that country. Happily to learn a bit more about that. I had a gentleman on here called Durandi who, I don't know if he's still, I think he's still here, but uh, he talked to me about the national team of the Netherlands and also his team, PSV. So uh, I learned a bit more about PSV. That's what I want to try and do eventually is build up a community on here of people who just like to come here, watch me play football manager and chat. Um, like I said, this, this save's not the hardest save in the world. I'm Newcastle with a, a fair bit of money and decent team already, and I've strengthened them. But um, I will be doing a journeyman save, and then also as well on after I've done a couple of seasons with Everton, I'm going to be doing a save on YouTube with a team that basically um, for people who I don't know if people outside the UK will know about this, but there's companies out there that will sell you a football shirt like a mystery box football shirt. Where hi, Randy, welcome back, mate. Um, so I, I, I went on this website called Surprise Shirts and I managed to order, um, it's called a Mystery mystery Football Shirt FM Edition. So basically what happens is you get a football shirt, you tell them about what, what type of teams you're looking to manage or what countries you're looking to manage or what level you're looking to manage. Uh, maybe you play what colour you want the shirt, anything like that. And then they'll pick the shirt for you, send it to you, and then you end up managing the team that they send it to you. So I should get that at some point next week. Um, but obviously I won't announce it until near the time where uh, I won't tell you who that team is going to be until I've done a few seasons with Everton. Yeah, Durandi, have you ever heard of um, mystery football shirts and all that lot? Do you, have you ever ordered a mystery football shirt before? Get yeah, anything good? Nice little victory for us here against Slava Prague. We were taking Bruno Gomez off. We'll put our 
bit of Anderson. We need to uh, tinker with the tactic. Right, we're in possession. Okay, so bear with me two seconds. Anderson. Oh no, he's in the position where we should. Oh, Durandy, imagine if I ordered that mystery football shirt and it ends up being a PSV shirt, eh? Tony, fate, fate will bring bring me to play for... Sorry, bring me to manage PSV. But yeah, I, I get all these different ideas for football manager saves, but the problem is you can't really do them when it comes to content creation because people... You get bored of the save after a season or two, then then people won't stick by really and watch you because they they'll just think, oh, you'll just quit after a season or two. So when I'm doing my saves, I want to try and do a minimum of three seasons with each team that I manage. Oh, look at that lovely little goal! But yeah, I'm going to do a journeyman save on Twitch soon. I'm going to do this season with Newcastle and another season. Hopefully, I can if I don't win the Premiership this season or Champions League. Hopefully. In season three, I can try and win the double, and it will tie things up nicely, basically. Um, yeah, do that, and then do start my journeyman save, where I'm basically going to start with Sunday league rep, no coaching badges, and I'm going to have about 10 different countries on there. Um, a lot of them will be small uh, countries. Um, and I've got a load of editor files that will give me lower divisions in certain leagues as well. And then I'm just going to basically holiday for six months and then start applying for jobs uh, from the 31st of December of that season. Now, I did the test run and I got a job in a... I didn't accept it because I didn't start the save. It's, for, it's specifically for Twitch, but I was just fascinated to see what teams come available. And it was a team called Name United, which I think they're in Estonia. I could be wrong. I don't know, Finland. I think they're in Finland. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you. The score of 94. Thank you for joining me. How are you doing with um, the Geordie boys then in season one? By the way, if you're interested in Newcastle save, I have got all of the previous Twitch streams. I have them on my YouTube channel, which is also Lucha FM. So if you're looking to watch this series from the beginning, um, that each video is about two hours long. So it depends on how much time you have really, but if you wanna get, uh, watch it and just see how I progress with Newcastle. I'm not the best at streaming at the moment because I've only just started doing it. So, but I'm hoping that the save itself is interesting for you to watch and just see my progress. Um, I won't spoil what happened last season, but I did very well. We'll leave it as that. Yeah, feel free to give me a subscribe on my YouTube channel if you want. Oh, okay. Well done, mate. Have you signed any decent players in your, in your first season? I didn't get much money in the first season, but I did get some, I did get some money in the, right at the end of January, just before the window closed, so I managed to quickly get um, Iniacho in, or was it? No, it wasn't Iniacho. I can't remember who it was. It was one of the players. But this season, for some reason, not been given any extra money, which is a bit annoying. Hey, Lucha, there's a viewer named R. Richard J. Boy trying to chat. He's unable to have been trying to fix. Error, but hmm, that's interesting. What do you mean? Is he trying to? Is he trying to chat in here? Is he trying to chat to you? Is he trying to chat to you or trying to chat to everybody? What's he? What did he DM you? Okay, that's weird. What did he what did he D, what did he DM you specifically, does it say? Oh, 
that's really weird. I sent you a follow request on here, but that's on my... Is that what it says on there? That's really weird. It must be some sort of spam or something. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Probably somebody just trying to get information or something. Can you, um, can you send me the link to his, to his Twitch, please? Twitch profile so I can have a look at it. Harvey Barnes out the door, Dan Byrne out the door. Yeah, Durandy, if you could just... Oh, there we go. Thank you, mate. Hey, well, apparently, according to this, he's offline, so... Just bear with me, I'm just going to do something here. Bear with me, people who are watching the Twitch, I'm just sorting this out. Right, uh, sorted that out. Yeah, it's just, it's just weird, that's all. He's, he didn't respond to me, it's not spam. I told him it could be wrongly given. I haven't banned him. Um, I banned him now because it sounds like a dodgy scam type of thing, but I didn't, I didn't have him blocked before. I've just blocked him so that it doesn't cause any, cause any grief on the chat. I'll just drop you. Um, bear with us. Get back to the football manager stuff in a minute. Oh, I don't know. Anyway. Um, Oh, okay. Well, I haven't... I mean, I've banned him now because it, sound, it seems a bit dodgy. It's just the name The name is familiar to me. We'll say it as that. Um, I don't want to go more into details on that one, but that's why I've banned it. So it's a bit weird, and like, there's no other information. Um, but yeah, I tried to, I've just tried to inbox you Durandi just to explain a bit more what what it what it might be about but I don't I don't know how you can inbox people on here so um yeah anyway let's carry on with this how long have we been playing so far right probably got another 20 minutes to go let's just try and get I'll tell you what we'll just try and get the rest of this this month out of the way now and we'll call it a day. Right, so we've got Sherpin in goal. Diamande is right back. Coates in the centre of defence with Inecho. Livramento on the left. 
Sergio Busquets in the middle with Joe Linton, Messi on the right, Brahim Diaz in the middle with Pedro Gonzalez on the left and Isaac up front. No, I wasn't having a go at you, by the way, um, Durandi. Sorry, if I wasn't. No, I know that you're hot, mate. I appreciate you telling me by all means. Like I said, I would inbox you, but I don't know how. I don't think you can inbox people on Twitch, can you? How do you inbox somebody on Twitch? Do you know? I clicked on your profile, and I thought it would give me the option to do it, but it won't. Whisper? Do I whisper you? Ah, I think yeah. There you go. All right, I figured out how to do it. I've just sent you a whisper, Durandi. Um, but yeah, what I message you, just uh, if you don't mind just keeping it to yourself, or um, I would appreciate it. But I've just kind of explained it a bit. So just really weird, that's all. But we'll just leave it as that now. Let's just concentrate on this. We're now um, currently six in the league. Tottenham's got two games ahead of us. Liverpool's got three games ahead of us. Manchester United's got one game ahead of us. So our chances of getting top four are going to be tough. But if we keep winning, we've always got a, ch a chance. And we're now on a... If we win this, we're on a three-game winning streak. But... No. We've got a second half to go through, yeah. Yeah, Durandi, I appreciate you um, bringing it up to me. I hope, I hope you didn't think I was annoyed. I wasn't annoyed at you. I just found it really, like, weird. That's all. The little ball there. Oh, what a goal. Oh, referee, come on. Let us have it. Got another uh, possible joker in the chat room. Yeah, somebody trying to wind me up, I think. Just, uh, I've blocked him. Somebody with nothing better to do than set up fake profiles. Yeah, that's a weird one, isn't it? They'll probably make a new account again in a minute. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're trying to do here. Anyway, essentially free nil off. Sorry for the last five ten minutes of not being about about the stream. It's just it's just uh, not spooked me. I'd say I'm not that bothered, but like I said, it's just a bit weird.
Right, 3 0 up. Messi free kick. Take Messi off, he's knackered. There he is, Pedro Gonzalez. Mande, Genio, the defenders. There we go. Yeah, uh, cheers, Durandi, for your help with that. Yeah, like I said, really weird. Right, we're 4 0 up. Not long left in the game. 5 0 up now. Isaac gets another goal. He's got his hat trick. Well done to him. Yeah. Right, let's. Uh, we'll go back to this now, innit? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, at least uh, got a, a nice, another nice little win. Um. Yeah, surfing out now to Livramento. Probably do one more game after this and then we'll call it a day, I think. Brian Diaz now. At this point, I think we're just trying to waste time, really. Oh, nice little pass. Oh, that was a really, really good goal there. Right, 5 0 win. He's that proven that he's a player that, you know, can be good enough to play for Real Madrid, but we want him here. Um, yeah, I'll just play this Champions League game next, and then that's it, I think. Yeah, thank you to people like Durandi um, joining in the conversation. It makes the stream go a lot quicker and a lot nicer if I'm not talking to myself but there's been um, a few streams I've done here where I'm basically talking to myself so it's really nice to have other people contribute really even Mbappe not happy with me but I only signed you Mbappe because I wanted your brother I'm hoping you can convince your brother to come to us Um, no, I've been to one Man United game my whole life. Um, I've never really had the money to go, and it's a bit. I don't drive, you see, so it's a bit of a journey because I live about two and a half hour train journey from Manchester, which probably isn't that that far. But I just don't. I just. It's more to do with the money. It's so expensive to go watch a team like Man United play, and also it's ridiculously hard to get tickets as well. Um. I had to become a member of Manchester United uh, Supporters Club before I even had a chance to get tickets for any games. And that's 30 quid. Things like, I don't know if it, I can't remember if it was 30 quid for the year or 30 quid a month. I can't remember. But um, I did manage to get a ticket to watch Man United versus Man City. It was a good occasion, but we drew 0 0. It wasn't the most entertaining game in the world. But like I said, it was a, it was a good occasion for me. I enjoyed it for what it was. It was nice to actually go and sit in Old Trafford. It's a hell of a big stadium. Um, when I was a little kid, when I was at school, my mate, who was a massive Man United fan, he used to watch Man United TV, the, um, basically the Man United 
uh, club channel that people can watch. He um, he basically got it set up so we can go to a, a school. Uh, this, there was like a school group of us. We got to go on MUTV, and uh, I got to meet uh, former Manchester United legend Norman Whiteside um, and stuff like that. So it was, a, and we got to like, answer a couple of questions. Um, I can't remember much else about it to be honest, because it was about. I mean, I'm 39 now. It was about. I think I was about 13, 14 when I went, so it was a good occasion. And the most important thing is we didn't have to go to school that day because we went on that trip. So, yeah, that's all that matters to me. Right, we'll play this game now. We'll call it a day. Yeah, but Randy, feel free to come, come and watch me play, watch me on Twitch next time. Um, it will probably be Wednesday now, the next time I go and which will look after my partner. Um, but right, so let's just read out the theme for the last game of the Twitch stream. Sherpin in goal, Trippier's right back, Libramento in centre defence from Botman, Target on the left, Tonali and Messi, Messi in centre midfield. Okay, that'll be an interesting one. Almiron on the right, Raheem Diaz there, and Gordon on the left, and Isaac up front. Randy, just curious, have you had anybody else try and um, message you asking about me? I don't know if I've got anything to hide. I'm just, I'm just wondering. It just seems like, um, I don't know, like a weird spam bot or something. It's just weird. Right, one nil up, target. I missed that. Um, let me replay that because I missed that. Right, that's the corner that come in. Messi with the pass to. It's not even a target pumped it in. Okay, fair enough. It's a good goal. That's uh, fair enough. It's probably just somebody just messing around, got bored. Either that or it was, like I said, it was like a spam bot. I, I, it was the first time I ever witnessed something like that, so it caught me off a bit. Oh, we look, we, oh I thought we were going to get another one then. Here we go. Yes, go on, Tenali. The Italian Stallion Tenali. Who's uh who's PSV playing this weekend um tonight um is it is it oh is it international football this weekend I think it is isn't it I swear it's international I hate international friendlies are so boring I know the African Cup of Nations is this month uh HSV so is that H that's not H HSV are they are they oh is it a, uh, is it a Dutch Cup game. The only HSV I know is the German team. Right, oh, what's happened here? Oh, offside, okay. Yeah, that's Hamburg. Is that who you're playing then? Are you playing Hamburg? Is that, that's not the weekend though, is it? Is that, is that sometime in the middle of the week? Is that a Europa, Europa, yeah, Europa League game? No. Hamburg aren't in the German league, are they? Oh, I don't know. I'll let you. I'll wait for you to answer. I'm, I'm confusing myself. Oh, it's a, just a friendly. So, is it international games this this next week? Wouldn't so. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's just a winter break. England don't have a winter break. We just play all through the season, which I think is ridiculous, really, because all the other top nations' leagues basically have a winter break. Spain has a winter break. Holland, um, Netherlands has a winter break. I think I think maybe Italy has one as well. Germany probably the only one in the top top nations that don't. Oh, look at that! That was a beautiful goal. Beautiful little setup by Messi there to Botman.
Are you doing a tour around Germany then, PSV, or is it just Hamburg that you're playing? Is there any other German teams you're playing, Gerandi? Right, Trippier now bombing it down on the wing. Almiron to Messi. Oh, yes. He's still the best, isn't he? Let's be honest. Good old Lionel Messi, eh? How's he done this season? Let's have a look. He's got six assists, seven, well, eight goals now. Sorry, seven assists because he assisted Botman. Seven assists, eight goals in 21 games. He's been quite a consistent performer. Uh, that, I paid 20 million for him. If I sold him now, I'd get between 20 and 27 million. So if I sold him now, I'd break even, wouldn't I? I'm not going to sell him. He's, he's, hopefully, he'll be here for the rest of his career. How long have we got him for? Have a quick look. All right. Got him until. 2020, oh, so we've only got him for another year. I hope, can I, can I just give him a new contract? Oh, he's only just signed a new contract. Oh, well. Probably going to retire then at the end of the season. Ah, uh, just Hamburg then. Ah, uh, fair enough. When does, when, do, when does the winter break finish in Holland? You, is it February you're back on? Oh, okay, so you're back soon then. Where are PSV in the league at the moment? Are they top? Got a bit of an easy run of, run of it this season, ain't you? Because Ajax are just so poor. All right, Trippier now on the right. Yeah, exactly. You'll, pro you'll probably end up winning a league unbeaten. Oh, nearly. Um, I don't know. Why are I so rubbish this season? Is it simply their manager or is it just their recruitment been really bad since Ten, Hag Ten Hag's left? Because Ajax was doing really well in, in Champions League that one season, didn't they? Yeah, it's the same with Man United at the moment as well. It's a lot. A lot of the reason why we're doing rubbish at the moment is because all the behind the scenes stuff with the glaciers and all that lot. I'm hoping when um, so Jim Radcliffe buys twenty five percent when that finally goes through and he's in charge of the football stuff. I'm hoping he'll get the right people in and we'll start being a lot better when it comes to the recruitment side of things because we've been really bad with buying players over the last. Probably since Ferguson's left, since Alex Ferguson left, we've been absolutely terrible. Uh, Ajax's loss is PSV's gain, though. No, so it's always a good thing, isn't it? PSV might have still won the league in if Ajax were playing well. I think, I think with the Dutch league, there's only pretty much like two or three teams that can win the Dutch league every year. Maybe there's the odd season where somebody surprises it. You can say that about a lot of leagues, same in Portugal. There's probably only about two or three teams that can win the Portuguese League. In Scotland, there's only two, essentially. In Spain, there's probably like three teams that can win the Spanish League. Premiership's very... I mean, Man City has been quite dominant recently, but there always seems to be... There's always a different team that seem, like, goes on a decent run of things, whereas in other countries, it's mostly like, the same couple of teams dominating year after year. For Century, well, not centuries, yeah, centuries, centuries, yeah, yeah. Because everybody seems to think that Ajax is the main team in Holland, but I've always thought PSV has been up there and Reynold as well. Reynold, however you pronounce it, right? So that's a 5 1 win, 
qualify for the round 16 of the Champions League. Before we go, let's see who we're playing in the Champions League. Come on then, Durandi, give us a prediction. Name a team you reckon we're going to end up going against in the next round of the Champions League. Shall I quickly show you? I'll quickly show you the... These are the teams. Benfica, Real Madrid, AC Milan. I can't remember how it's done. Do we? Do these teams in the top eight end up playing teams in the bottom? I don't know. But I'll let you... High Nord. High Nord. Okay. Fair enough. Thank you. I appreciate the... Uh, the help with that. When do we uh when do we get to do the draw for the Champions League? Oh well, I'll just keep forwarding it to the uh to Knott's Forest game and then I'll save it. If we don't get the draw. Does it say on here? No, it doesn't. Yeah. Gonna get PSV. If I lose to PSV, I'm blocking you. I'm blocking you. No, I'm joking. I'm not really blocking you. Um, no, no. I appreciate you um, chatting today, mate. It, it does mean it does mean a difference. Keep in touch with me. Um, feel free to inbox me on Twitch. If I'm not on there, I'll I'll message you at some point. Um, but yeah, and I'll I'll keep an eye out in case you end up. Streaming on Twitch again, let me know. All right, so we've got the transfer deadline day. I don't think there's going to be much activity with this one. We haven't got any money. We got any money? We've got like two million. We ain't going to sign it on for two million in the wage budget. Uh, God registration. Uh, we'll loan him out. Um, set them. AC Milan have made a seventy-four million offer for Scalvini. Uh, PSV, PSV is what we call it. Probably his bogey team is what we call them. Basically, the team that they can never beat. Um, there's always been teams like that. Aston Villa used to be a bogey team for Liverpool up until recently. They never used to be able to beat Aston Villa. They always seem to draw or lose. Scalvini went to AC Milan in the end. Not too bothered about this player, so I don't know why I'm clapping around. Uh, do that. Marcus Leonardo goes to AC Milan. AC Milan spent a fair bit of money. Getting some bonus time here while I'm trying to get this transfer deadline done. Well, we get the transfer deadline done. Or uh, if we end up playing the game, then we'll just we'll just save it before the game starts. But we can get this done before the next game, just so it ties everything up nicely. We don't have to worry about this when we join, and then at least we can get try and get as much as season two done. Hey, Durandi, we'll have to do um, we'll have to do like a network game stream at some point. You could be PSV and I could be Ajax or something. Try and do that. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Right, six hours left on transfer deadline day. We're uh, going to sign this player called Angel Alacron or something like that. 
Or might sign him, I don't know. Yep. Sign him. Alacorn. 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 Yeah. Pretty good prospect, to be honest. Hopefully Messi can tutor him and he'll end up becoming the new Messi. Or thinking, eh? Uh, we're also after this player here. He's probably a good option as a uh, defensive midfielder. Do we need a defence? We don't need it. Walk away from that deal. Oh, I don't know, but I don't mind. I don't mind. Well, like I said, the offer's always there if you want to do it. I can, uh, might be, it might make an interesting stream. I could, I could just constantly tell you to hurry up or something. That might entertain the, uh, public here. <laughs> How is Xavier Simons doing? I'll have a look for you. He's at PSG at the moment. Oh, um, Played 30 games, scored 11 goals, got three assists. Got a pretty good XG as well, to be honest. 7.48, so he's absolutely smashing it in here. That was a good little uh, sign in for PSV, wasn't it? Went back to PSG. I suppose they had a, they probably had like a, a buyback clause or something when they really, when they sold it. Well, gave you him on a free transfer. He's done, he's done well at. PSG, I'll add him to the shortlist. Do they have a? Do they have, yeah. Do they have a clause in place to get like a? The PSV have a clause in place to get a potential like, you know, twenty percent profit on any next transfer. If he if he sells for say two hundred million, get twenty percent of that. So. It would be good for PSV in real life. I'm not saying that's going to happen in real life, because, but then the way the transfer fees keep going up and up and up, we might get to a point where we will have a 200 million player, probably Mbappe at some point, or Haaland. Right, so that's that done. We're just going to forward it one more day. Uh, squad registration. We've signed a new contract. 58 million, so that clears the bank. We could have done that about a week ago. We would have been given some more money in the transfer budget then. So annoying. Oh well. Oh, okay, fair enough. Diamande gets the young player of the month in the Premier League. Al Ron gets the goal of the month. I get third place in the manager of the month. Right then, probably going to save it now and call it a day. So thank you to Jurandi. Uh, thank you for everybody else that joined. Um, no, I'm not saying thank you to that spam bot because that was annoying. Freaked me out a bit, I won't lie. Um, but I'll probably come across them more often. I think somebody warned me about that actually, but I can't remember. Right, so I'm going to save the game now. I'm going to call it a day. Yeah, no draw. I don't know why. I'll have a look on the fixtures. Maybe, I've, maybe the draw happened without me realising. I'll just have a quick look. Before I go, just on the up chance. Right, schedule. Oh no, it's still unknown. But they'll have to do it. They'll they'll do it in, in the next stream. I'll do. They're bound to do it because, like I said, it's um, four games time. So they'll have to do it pretty soon. Yeah. Right then, that's me done. Thanks again, Randy. Yeah, and you, buddy. Uh, nice chatting to you. You're a really nice bloke. I really appreciate it. And thank you for educating me on PSV and Holland and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, and enjoy the rest of your day. And everybody else enjoy the rest of your day. Um, this this stream will be yeah, no, I have fun as well, Durandy. Like I said, you're always welcome, my friend. Um, like I said, I'll probably be next year on Wednesday at two p.m. 
But yeah, if you want to inbox me on here in the meantime, you carry on. It just might take me a while for you to message back, mate. No, I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, right, everybody else, enjoy the rest of your day as well. Thank you for your support. I will be putting this video up on YouTube later on today, this this stream. So if you want to, if you didn't watch it all and you want to watch it, then feel free to watch it from the beginning. And like I said, enjoy the rest of your day and all the best. Cheers. Bye.